Hey, what's up everyone? Donut here. So I was going to release the North Hollywood shooting video today, which the 20 year anniversary of it was on Tuesday, but uh, I wasn't able to get that done. I wanted it to be extra good and extra special for you guys. So instead, we're going to talk about the difference between being detained and being arrested. Before we get started on the video, I just want to say to all the uh, Roman Atwood fans that have been sending me mean messages, uh, please keep sending them because they're hilarious and I'm posting every single one of them to Twitter. Again, I never said anything malicious about the guy. I understand his dog just died. Uh, he has my deepest condolences for that. I was simply stating in that video that he wasn't arrested, he was detained, and same thing in this video. Connor Murphy wasn't arrested, he was detained. And I know Connor Murphy's been all over YouTube here lately. H3H3 did a video on him and a few other popular YouTubers did videos on him. And I normally wouldn't talk about him, but since this video has a police aspect, here I am. All right, so just like Roman Atwood, I have nothing against this guy. I have nothing against the dude he does his pranks with in this video. I mean, how, how can you not like him? Look at that jawline. Look at that room. His room looks like my seven-year-old son's room. That's freaking awesome. Oh, and don't get me started on his boobies. Anyways, he seems like a cool guy. This is the first time I've ever watched any of his videos, but the premise of the prank is he was showing something to chicks on his phone, and then his buddy tells the chicks to go over and punch him in the stomach that it's okay. And I guess they had been doing this for a little bit in, in the same little area he was in. Because here in a second, you can see that police officers are standing right behind him when a chick cocks him right in the face. I think she misunderstands the joke right here, but this, this is actually pretty funny. And it was at that moment, he very, very, very much considered punching her back. If you look over here, you can see that there's police officers right behind him. They didn't see her do this. I'm sure she would be in handcuffs if they would have seen it. See, look, do you see the police officer right there? So the police are there. They know these guys have been going around doing the pranks all night. And I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to go around and do harmless pranks. You can tell that a police presence is needed. There's a lot of bars around here, a lot of people going around getting drunk, a lot of people getting into fights probably. Connor even says he sees people getting into fights here all the time. And the police usually just get in between them and tell everyone to go their which way. But when him and his friend decide to do a prank, the cops probably saw that they were both pretty big dudes and jumped on the guy who was the aggressor. The premise of this prank is that they were going to act aggressive with each other, then they were going to high-five and do something silly. So me putting up my hand was the signal to start the dance or the handshake. All right, so that's what was supposed to happen. And police, I'm sure they'd seen Connor wandering around there all night uh, without this guy. And so as soon as they start getting aggressive with each other, the police are already watching them. The prank starts off. Connor already has his shirt off. I'm not sure why. Uh, the other guy, I think he's a bodybuilder as well. Uh, it's, it's friends with him, and, and as I said before, they were gonna they were gonna look like they were gonna fight, and then break out and like patty cake or, or a goofy dance or something. But here's here's what police don't know any of that. Police don't know shit. This is this is what police see right here. All right, the police just saw assault. He assaulted him. He's got his hands up in a defensive position. All right, it, it looked like he was going to throw a punch, which is what they wanted it to look like. The police weren't going to let that go any further. All right, so you see two people fighting. They're pretty big dudes. Just go ahead and detain them to control the situation. Now, we knew that getting the cops involved was a small risk. If you knew that getting the cops involved in one of your pranks is a small risk, that doesn't make you a prankster. That makes you an asshole. You're tying up police resources that could be used for something else. All right, so they pull them aside. They're trying to figure out the story between these two, figure out what's going on. And it ends up Connor is released, and the person who they saw assault him is arrested and charged with resisting arrest. His friend was arrested for failing to comply with the lawful order. And we didn't see what happened after they put handcuffs on them and the walk to the police cars. I don't know what happened. The people commenting on Connor Murphy's video don't know what happened. But the video title is Connor Murphy Gets Arrested in Big big Letters. Uh, you weren't arrested. You, you were detained. Your buddy was arrested because he went to jail. A lot of big YouTubers are having trouble discerning the difference between arrest and detained. And this is a perfect video to show exactly what the, two, the, the, the difference of the two are. Your friend was arrested. He went to jail. He didn't get to go home that night. You were detained because you were released and you were able to go home and make a YouTube video. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the comments on Connor's video. Uh, the cops had to choose between the beautiful white guy and the suspicious black guy. Guess the result. Only in America, the land of the free. Actually, what the police saw was the suspicious black guy attack the beautiful white guy first. They saw the beautiful white guy holding up his hands defensively. 
Let's see, uh, with 37 votes here, fuck pigs. He is black, that's why they didn't let him go. Racism at its finest. This is why it's imperative that cops have body cameras. If they didn't have footage of this incident, he would definitely be screwed. Cops are fucking liars. Shouldn't title B, Brandon Carter gets arrested? The cops should go to Iraq. Let's see if they still think they have balls. Hey, here's a little fucking thing you might not know, is that there's a lot of police officers that have been to Iraq and Afghanistan and have fought for your freedom, dickbag. Here's something I forgot to point out. When Brandon pushed Connor, he fell back into a group of people. Fuck those cops. Maybe it's because he is like black. Fuck the police, Connor. If they can't believe somebody out there pulls pranks now and then, they're really lame. Also, it was unfair. You have all the evidence on tape of what happened. Everything leading up to the events and afterwards. Take that shit to court and the people will see your side. He wasn't fucking arrested. He's not going to court. Hey, here's, here's this crazy idea I came up with, guys. If you don't act like you're assaulting someone in public, then the police won't even come talk to you. <laughs> Free Brandon Carter and stop being prejudiced on people. We don't know why he was charged with that. It doesn't say so in the video. It doesn't show the entire arrest in the video. Cops arrested him because he's black. Fucking cops. Fuck the police. Oh my god, these cops are racist as fuck. What the hell? They did the exact same thing. Why did only one of them get arrested? Why knock down the black guy and not Connor? It's because he was the aggressor in the situation, or that's what it appeared like to the police officers. It's just a prank, bro! Alright, so I'm not wasting any more time looking at this. I am going to be streaming at 9. I had to push the stream back just to take a look at this for you guys, because I've had several of you tell me to look at it. I just want to throw this out here, too, before we get off, is that cops love pranks. If you would have walked up to the two officers and said, hey... You know, uh, this guy's about to come up and act like he's going to fight me, but we're going to do a silly dance instead. They probably would have been like, okay, that's cool. Just, you know, don't fall back and, and fall into a group of women. So next time, maybe just talk to the cops before you start doing things like that that uh, gets everybody riled up. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Uh, this guy has a lot of subs too, so we'll, I'll be posting some, some tweets of their comments in this uh, here in the next few days. Everybody, please have a nice day.